everybody. We're getting a head start on National Hispanic Heritage Month. It starts on Monday, started in 1988 by then President Ronald Reagan. And take a look here in the Tampa Bay area. Tampa Hispanic Heritage Inc. honors each year a Hispanic man and a Hispanic woman for their contributions to their professions as well as the communities. You've just seen photographs of retired Colonel Evelio Otero and this is Maria del Pilar. Ortiz, a journalist and a writer. Uh, last year we had the privilege of serving as the Hispanic Woman of the Year along with Santiago Corrada, the president of Visit Tampa Bay. There again is this year's honoree and we are so delighted to have him with us in our studio, retired Colonel Evelio Otero, 2014 Hispanic Man of the Year. Yay! <laughs> Thank you and very much. And then we have Dr. Luz Lono, past president, past Hispanic woman, past everything, woman of many talents. Um, this is always such a special time of the year for our community. Um, how did you feel, Colonel, when you heard the news that you are this year's honoree? Delightfully surprised, <laughs> honored. Um, uh, I felt uh, that uh, it's one of the biggest honors in the city. And uh, when I got the phone call, um, I, I was looking at all the individuals that were before me and how wonderful they are and the great role models for the community that I was uh, delighted. Dr. Lono, you all get so many different nominations. What was it about the Colonel that really set him apart? Well, um, as you know, we look at um, the nominees' contributions, not just to their own profession, but also to the, the community, and how involved they are, not only in the Hispanic community, but in the community at large. And uh, we looked at his work um, uh, during you know his military career mm -hmm. and we looked at his contributions through his foundation um, and how important it is for him to reach out and support uh, young students with scholarships Absolutely. and also to continue uh, or to develop rather uh, a contact with the development of business with Latin America and you all will be sharing the spotlight uh, that night with Maria del Pilar Ortiz a writer, a journalist, a public speaker. Um, when you formulate your speech for that night, um, Colonel, what, would, what will be your message to the young people in the room? Uh, role model. Uh, understanding the role that the Hispanic community has uh, in the community as a whole. Uh, taking after uh, those that came before us who believe in that and exemplify that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, how delightful uh, the kind of work that they did, kind of work that you do, which is for everybody. And, and, and understanding that um, uh, we do have a responsibility for our generation and the follow-on generation who are going to be doing a uh, million things bigger than we do. So what are the chances of us also hearing some secrets from Central Command? <laughs> David Central Command. <laughs> Maybe? Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see from your smile. Are there tickets still available? I know the gala yes. sells out every year. Tell our viewers where they can go for the information. Yes, they can go to our website, www.tampahispanic.org. They can purchase their tickets there. The event is on October the 4th. That's right. And it is at uh, the Hilton. Hilton uh, in, Tam downtown in downtown Tampa. Tampa. And uh, yes, we welcome the community. Come and celebrate with us. Uh, because we have night. two wonderful people that we are excited to honor this year. Congratulations and Thank congratulations you. to you. We look forward to Thank seeing you. you that night. If you would like more information at home, here's the event. TampaHispanic.org is the website where you can get your tickets. It's on October the 4th, and we will see you there. Join us.